I'm Jim Flink for AOL News Now. Violence erupted in Israel as demonstrators from both Gaza and Syria attempted to cross into the country to protest the anniversary of Israel's creation. Today is uh, what the Palestinians call, call Nakba, that's uh, uh, catastrophe, and it refers to the forming of the Israeli state in uh, 1948. So there were these protests taking place, but uh, the most significant uh, developments, I think, are in the Golan Heights, where it's being reported that four people have been uh, shot dead. Israel's defense forces, or the IDF, have confirmed at least four people have been killed, along with reports of several dozens demonstrators injured. Sky News notes, while protests on Nakba are nothing new, this year has been much more intense. So there are always demonstrations, there's always trouble on this day, but this is a, it's a different scale uh, this year because we've had uh, the trouble in East Jerusalem, we have had a possible terrorist attack, uh, that's how the Israelis have characterized it, uh, possibly in Tel Aviv with a a truck being driven into civilian vehicles. And then down on the border with Gaza, the Israeli military opened fire on protesters approaching the border, the areas crossing there, wounding a number of people there. One reporter for Fox News credits the recent sweep of revolutions throughout the Arab world as a leading cause for this latest outbreak of violence. What we're seeing is, is the violence and the anger of the Arab Spring, the revolutions around the Arab world now being focused towards Israel. And there is a fear, Jamie, that in the coming months, we aren't going to see hundreds of demonstrators or thousands of demonstrators, but tens of thousands of demonstrators marching on the Syrian border, the Lebanon border, and in the West Bank towards Jewish settlements. But according to an IDF spokesman, these protests aren't the work of the recent uprisings, but rather come at the urging of one of Israel's many enemies. The BBC quotes him as saying, We are seeing here an Iranian provocation on both the Syrian and the Lebanese frontiers to try to exploit the Nakba Day commemorations. According to Fox News, this is the first time the Israel-Syria border has been breached since the 1973 Yom Kippur War. I'm Jim Flink for AOL News Now.